You have got to be kidding. The eviction moratorium has been extended past August 31st, 2021. You've got to be kidding. No, we're not. It has been extended, but it hasn't. Yes and no. And here's why we say yes and no, it has been extended. Here's why. This is the Landlord Advocates, where we help landlords become better landlords. I'm your host, Matthew Lyman. Welcome. Here's why we say yes and no to the extension of this moratorium past 831-21. Has the governor and the legislature extended it officially? No, they have not. Do we think that they will? No, they will not. And here's why. The governor has lost the ability to do it on his own. The state legislature is not going to be in session for a few more months. As we know, vaccinations are way up. People are going back to work. The death rate and infection rate of COVID-19 is way down. We have seen how the U.S. Supreme Court has allowed the CDC declaration to maintain itself until the end of July. And if it were to be extended any further, it would take an act of Congress to make that happen. So, officially has it been extended? No, it has not. And again, we do not think that it will be. That is good news. But here's the bad news. Here's where, yes, it has been extended. It has been done so in two ways. The first is the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, a federally funded program to help landlords across the United States get their rent paid from their tenants. Now, this program, we're not going to get into the, the meat and potatoes of it, because we have, at the end of this video, a link for you to go and watch our Smoke and Mirrors video on how we believe that this is Smoke and Mirrors. How this is, this program opened up on June 1st. In New York City, they received 22,000 applications in the first day. As of now, right before July 4th, our social media team has found that over 125,000 applications in the state of New York alone have been filed. Our team has also found that we have seen no one tell us yet that they have received any funding from this program. Now, 10 advocacy groups, the legal aid societies, and such, are encouraging landlords and tenants to fill out the application. They have to do it separately in the same room if they want to, it doesn't matter, but it's two separate applications. They're telling the landlords that they will get a year's worth of back rent and three months going forward. That's not the case. For some it may be, but it's not uniform. It's not universal. But it encourages them to do so. Now you might say, well, Matt, where is this extending the moratorium? We'll see. Here's how. You can still serve upon your tenants the predicate notices. That's known as the rent reminder, the 14 day, the 30, the 60, the 90. You can even get a court date to evict your tenant. But here's what happens. You get into court. The tenant comes in. Your Honor, I filled out the ERAP, Emergency Rental Assistance Program, application. I filled it out, Your Honor. Therefore, the court will have to adjourn that case until a determination has been made if the tenant qualifies or does not qualify for those funds. There will be many tenants at the behest of tenant advocacy groups, or maybe not, I can't say all of them, that will encourage tenants to fill out this application. And when they do, the actual eviction is on hold. The court making the decision is stayed until the determination has been made. Now, some of these organizations are saying that the New York State Office of Temporary and Disability Assistance, the organization charged with looking over these applications and determining eligibility, I'm going to be able to do so in a month. About a month you'll find out. We here at the Landlord Advocates do not believe it will be just a month. When you have that many applications, how many inspectors, examiners, whatever you want to call them, I don't care, are going to be perusing these applications, verifying them, and then deciding if the tenant qualifies or not. We don't know how many they have, but we do not believe it will be just one month to determine 
whether or not you're going to get paid and how much. Again, the meat and potatoes of that is in the video down below that you can click on, or at the end of this video you will be able to click on it, it'll be at the top, and you'll be able to see all about the ERAP program. With that program, in summary, with that program, once the tenant applies, they will not be evicted. If some municipalities, you may not know they qualify until October or November. Who knows? Some others may be quicker, yes. In some municipalities, it may be quicker. That is one way that the eviction moratorium has been extended. The other way, we're all familiar with by now, and that is the Declaration of Hardship. That was decided on the end of December 2020 under the COVID-19 Emergency Eviction and Foreclosure Prevention Act. This Declaration of Hardship is a no-questions-asked declaration that the tenant will sign, and every tenant will be able to sign, every tenant will qualify, much as the other side will say, no, they'd be in trouble, they sign it, perjury, no, they can't. There's such a catch-all declaration that everyone, you and I, yeah, you and I, would qualify to sign that declaration. So we do not believe that tenants are going to get in trouble for filling it out when they know that they don't qualify, because again, everybody does. Now, here's where we have a problem. Under this law, when a tenant fills this declaration out and hands it to you, at any point between now and the end of August, you cannot even apply for a court date. You can still shut the predicate notices, but you cannot even apply for a court date. But yet, every time you serve a tenant, there is a form that you must give to that tenant, and at the top of it is the seal from the New York State Unified Court System. And that form has it in part that if you fill out this declaration for non-payment of rent or for the, the uh, non-renewal of your lease, your lease is expired, you cannot be evicted until no earlier than August 31st, 2021. You might say, okay, September 1st, they're out. No, they're not. If you have not applied for a court date, and once the tenant hands you that declaration, you cannot apply for a court date. Once that happens, come September 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, whatever, you can apply for the court date. As we know in some municipalities, when you apply, you may not be in court until October, November, or hopefully not even later, but you may be into December. In some areas of New York City, and, and bigger metropolitan areas, Rochester, possibly, Buffalo, it may be a long time before you're in court. Now, this declaration, as we know, they sign it, nothing can happen. That's an extension of the moratorium. But what bothers us, what bothers us, is that the official eviction is when the sheriff comes and executes the warrant. The sheriff, the constable, the marshal whatever it may be, in your jurisdiction, that is the actual eviction. Not the predicate notices, not the court date, not even the judge ruling in favor of the landlord. The actual execution of the warrant is the eviction. If the tenant leaves on their own, were they evicted? That's up to question. We may examine that in a later video. But why is it that the state of New York decided to say to landlords, your tenant files are out, you cannot even apply. We should be able to apply right now. We should have been able to apply all throughout. Yeah, the case may be adjourned out. It was supposed to die on May 1st, this moratorium, and it was extended to the end of August. But we should be able to be in court regardless of the sign of declaration. The warrant of eviction, if it has to be stayed until September 1st, okay. Now, in New York, the tenant must get the warrant two weeks, over two weeks before they can officially be removed by the law enforcement agency that has been charged with uh, removing the tenants with the warrant of eviction. Why could the landlords not be in court, get a decision, and the warrant stayed until September 1st? So therefore, the tenant can be removed September 1st, September 2nd, or any days, a few days after that. No. Now you can't even apply. And for a lot of municipalities in our area, you will not be seeing your tenants out until Halloween or later. We're telling our people in upstate New York and the capital region that more than likely 
If everything goes away, it could go until the end of October that the tenure is out. But if they ask for a hearing or a trial, which they are entitled to, that's another over two weeks on top of that. So that's why we're telling people they can be November or later before you get them out. But for a lot, we're, we're hoping, we're hoping by the end of October, happy Halloween, that your titles will be out. Those are the two ways that this eviction moratorium has been extended by the great leaders of the state of New York. And we have no doubt that other states in the area that sway to the same ideology as New York State will take on the mantle and do the same thing in those states and hinder the eviction of the tenants by instituting a program similar to what New York State has done. Now, as we have said, Happy Halloween. We believe the state of New York has done this to let tenants stay in the property for at least two more months past August 31st, 2021. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Trick or treat. It's definitely a treat for tenants. We know that. But it's one hell of a trick on landlords. One hell of a trick. Landlords, you know we're here with you. You know we're here for you. We ask that you subscribe to our channel. We ask that you hit the notification bell to be made aware of other videos that we are producing. We ask that you hit the like bell so that the YouTube algorithm will know that you like our video and you will share our video and YouTube will share our videos as well. And of course, we ask that you subscribe to our channel. Until then, landlords, take care.